Hi friends, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Cynthia and I thank you for clicking on this video here today. So today I wanted to come on here and show you guys my Bath & Body Works perfume collection. I just have a couple of perfumes here that you guys saw in the thumbnail that I'll show you really quickly, but then I'm gonna show you all of them here behind me, um, just the in the other form that I usually do my videos because it's gonna be a lot faster for me and you know, I just think it'll go by quicker. So, um, by the way, if you do have questions on my makeup, my eyelids, um, I do have this. Actually, go check out my video that I just posted right before which I'm wearing the same clothes. It is the way, how I used up my lotions and body products or whatever i'm not sure exactly what i named it but it's the video right before this one so that video i it right in the beginning you don't have to watch it all if you want but i do want you to click on it and so that's why if you do have a question go watch that and i'll tell you right there but anyways let's go ahead and talk about we have my first one that i'm going to show you here is this gingham fresh and one of the goals that i have for this year is to use them more and stop having them just as collection because they are so beautiful and i didn't really want to use much <laughs> look at this i did use it a couple of times but uh you can't even tell this one smells so so good this is one of my favorites fresh type of perfumes from bath and body works um i wish that they bring this one back like people were coming in always asking for this one this one has juicy pear sparkling clementine and fresh daisies um it is a favorite and the ones in this line that came like this oh i just had to have each and every one but i'm gonna struggle with having to finish them off we will see i might pick some other perfumes to finish off first because gingham gorgeous i love this one as well. This one has pink strawberries, peach nectar, peony blooms. This one was my number one for me. It was a, a sweet floral. So I just, uh, not that I didn't like the fresh one too. Like I love that one too, but it's just, this one was my favorite one. You guys see it? How beautiful is this? Yes, um, I think I sprayed once as well, but I want to use them, but I struggle. It's like some kind of mental thing I have. <laughs> So this one is uh, Gingham Vibrant. And so Gingham Vibrant here, same packaging. And this one has wild blackberries, candied violets, and soft vanilla. And look at this beautiful purple. Oh my gosh. This, uh, these two colors, if you guys know, these are my favorite, my favorite two colors. But anyways, we're going to turn the camera around. We're going to go ahead and see the rest of my collection which is a lot so let's go right into it all right friends so i put the rest of my perfume collection from bath and body works in here in this bin i have two of these bins this one was empty for right now um since my empties was just filmed but we have the three that i showed you here and then we're gonna go into the rest of these i'm only missing one box i've been going back and forth on trying to get rid of my boxes as well i know there's one more that i'm gonna get rid of for sure in fact let me go into that one right here so and it was warm too guys in here so i took off my sweater that i had on so we have poppy is the first one i'm showing you because every time i'm going to pick this up it falls out like it is cute like the way they made it you know how they have this poppy here but um yeah it's just kind of i don't know like where to place it like this you know what i mean and then i had this on top and so then i when i pick it up every time this falls out and it's it was getting on my nerves <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and do that first i'm gonna get rid of this box even though it's beautiful um but i do want to read or you know what i'm gonna just show you the notes right here so that we can get through the video a little bit quicker so there is that and look at how pretty like i love how um the lid like the top right there how it has like the poppy flower right there I think it is so cute so a lot of these perfumes like i haven't used a lot because i was literally buying them more for collection purposes and i wanted to have them all but you know what bath and body works is going to continue to bring out more and more perfumes and i'm still going to want to buy them and i am um at least the ones i like but 
I don't I don't want to just keep them in my collection. I want to get away from that mind frame and I want to start using them. So this is definitely one I'm going to start using, um, which I have not much. I think I use a lot of them. I used at least once. This one I've used a couple more times than once. <laughs> Midsummer Dreams. I love this one. I do not have the box to this one. Um, I don't know where it is because basically I saved the boxes for all of these. This one in the summer I had set it out on my counter. So maybe I threw it away. I, I feel like I'm going to find it under something. But that's Midsummer Dream. I don't have the notes for it right now. I think it does have pear. But maybe I'll put the notes here on the screen. So there's that one. And then we have Saltwater Breeze here. I love this one. I love Saltwater Breeze. A lot of these I did get at semi-annual sale. Not all of them. But I think I got this one at semi-annual sale. Um, and the bottle is so pretty. Uh, look at how beautiful they are. I wish I could display them somewhere. <laughs> but yeah, so this is so, so pretty. So that's the one thing I'm debating on. If I should just put them out like this and get rid of the boxes. Uh, that's one thing I'm struggling with. I haven't decided yet. So here we have, it says, a refreshing getaway, and there are the notes. Okay, I was just getting a message on my phone, and I was reading that, so I don't know. I kind of abruptly stopped. So we have Hibiscus Paradise right here. This is a coconut scent. came out several year, a couple of years ago, and I think 2020. So we have here Hibiscus uh, pink hibiscus, juicy guava, sun-kissed coconut. So I guess I read that one. Exotic, carefree, and warm. Okay, and here is this one. Okay, that mowing of the lawn, if you guys can't hear it, it is bothering me though. <laughs> Fairy tale we have here, and here are the notes for this one. I've been trying to use up the last bit. If you guys saw my video from yesterday of that fairy tale body cream yes because fairy tale does doesn't it say here it has vanilla and so that turns yellow and yeah vanilla bean so definitely can go bad warm and fresh with the hint of magic there and i really like the way this bottle looked like it had a little uh key right there look at how cute that is i really like it I, I don't know. There's something about these bottles that I kind of like. I mean, some of the colors I like more like this one. Let me show you the next one. And this one was a gift from a friend, Courtney Stahl. Thank you so much for sending me this one. I love it. Here we have uh, the notes right here. Uh, I love the pear in this one. It's a fruity one. It's a really good fruity one. And the bottle, this, I feel like if I use it up, I will want to keep the bottle for this one. Just because, look at how beautiful. Well, right here you can't see, but when you like look in person and you go like this, that rainbow type of like uh, look right here glistens or <laughs> you can see it through the bottle. And I really, really like this one. So there is a Daydream. That's that one and then the inside of the box says bright colorful and optimistic okay next we have perfect peony so this one it has a uh, pink lady apple sorbet peony and vanilla sandalwood i really like this one i've used this one i know a couple of times i had it out for a little while a love letter to every woman who wears it Ooh, makes me want to put it on right now so look at that one with the peony flower back here. How pretty. Like I said, I kind of like these bottles. I don't know what it is about it, but I do. Okay, and we have You're the One. Yes, I've had a couple of these. I shared with my mom. Thank you to Courtney Stahl. She had sent me one as well. Um, and my mom loves this one as well. Fragrance notes, white birch, velvety rose, because we like rose. Okay, I know you guys call, a lot of people even at my work call this like the old lady scent. It smells so good though. I like it. And a drop of strawberry nectar. My boys like it. My husband likes this one. I love this one. You guys, if you've been around a long time, I used to call this one Cynthia's the one all the time because it's my favorite one. You're confident, sparkling, beautiful. You're the one. So this one, I don't mind using just half and not finishing it. I don't know. Ah. I had the small bottle too, but again, 
I, I gifted that one. Yeah, I, I shared. This is a bigger bottle. I think this is the only... Is it the only bigger bottle? No, I see Pure Wonder. I don't know if it's... I don't think Pure Wonder is 3.4 ounces. So um, 3.4 ounces and these are 1.7. So now that I mentioned Pure Wonder, I'm going to take that one out next because... I wanted to see the size. Okay, yeah, it is 1.7 as well, but the bottle is different. And this one is not a see-through bottle like Poppy isn't either. I kind of do like the see-through ones because I like to see how much of the perfume I have. This one, I know I really have used it a couple of times. And um, I think I'm going to get rid of the box too because I'm going to use this one up. I do like it. Pure Wonder. I don't think it lasts too long either, but I do like mixing this one with my uh, Valentino Born in Roma one. Um, I like that. So that is one that I will be blending and I think I will definitely get rid of the box just so that I can. And I have to thank Bath and Body Works. This is one of the ones that uh, one of the few times they sent me PR, they sent me that one. So I was lucky to receive that. Blessed, I should say, not lucky. <laughs> um, Dahlia. Dahlia is so good. Yes, my family loves it. My boys and my husband love this one too. Beautiful, bright, and feminine. You know which one they like too, or my husband really likes the Forever Red. I want the perfume in that one. That's the one I need, the actual perfume. I mean, I have the, the spray and the body cream or lotion now, I think. And that one is so, so good. So there is Dahlia. And I have used this one a couple of times too. You can see the ring light there. Let's go on this side. I know it doesn't seem like it, but that's what I'm saying. I should probably... I think I'm going to have to take, I don't know if I'm going to get rid of my boxes quite yet because I don't want to regret it, <laughs> but I think what I'm going to do, let's see, let's put it there. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and um, leave them out for a while so I can use some of these. So Open Sky, when it first came out, I didn't really care for it. Um, but I really love the way this bottle looks. And again, I've told you I was collecting all of these uh, perfumes. And so that is what I why I bought it, even if I didn't like it. But I bought it at a SAS as well. Clean, bright, and refreshing. So that was really nice. And um, when I get them at SAS, usually it's like that. 75% off perfect price. Look at this bottle. It looks just like, look at how, I love this color. I love the colorful ones. It looks like saltwater breeze, but the top is different. Yeah, so there is that one. Okay, next we have In the Stars. This one I was able to grab at an MOS because this one hasn't been around in the perfume form in a long time. Someone had returned it and it went to MOS and I was able to grab that. Radiant Sparkling Addictive, it's your time to shine. Yes, I really do like the way that um, In the Stars smells. I have my body cream I need to use up, so maybe I should definitely use it with the perfume so here we go in the stars they probably i wonder if they used it but either way i wanted it um i'm sure they tried it it doesn't look used if you really look at it um so i would say a spray or two <laughs> uh there is that and then we have here a uh, honey wildflower yes so honey wildflower has the notes right there. Let's see what the box says inside. Fresh, floral, and naturally sweet. Okay. This one was a really good one as well. I really liked this one. And here we go. Let's put it out here. I wonder if I have a body cream in that one that I can pair up and use as well together. So there is that. I think as I said, I'm going to go ahead and I might put my boxes go on the top of my closet all the way to the top. So that's why it's not even like easy to use them. The only one I had left out was the Midsummer Dream. I had the Perfect Peony out for a little bit. Pure Wonder I had down below and then Dahlia. So I need to like definitely put these um, to reach where I can reach them. I'll go ahead for now and put my boxes that I'm keeping all the way up top in my closet again. Because <laughs> I literally need the ladder to like get to them. Oh, I'm opening this one without showing you. But this one is the most recent one, Champagne Toast. I cannot remember if I got it at a SAS as well. Uh, fruity, sweet, and sparkling. But yeah, I love getting my a lot of my perfumes at SAS. So here is Champagne Toast. 
and there is that one i do want to use that one that one's another one that not me but a lot of people like on tiktok and all we're talking about mixing it with a uh, valentino born in roma i agree i think those two are good together so there is that and then we have rose i do love my rose scents rose is back in store with its uh Beautiful new packaging that it has. I think it's more colorful and all. But the perfumes aren't back. So it's just in the body care like the body creams and shower gel and the mist. But I have this perfume. So we have rose here. There is that one. Okay, next I'm going to show you. Okay, next we have Japanese Cherry Blossom, which I did wear a couple of times. This one, I've told you guys before, is one of those that I used to wear a long time ago. And then all the time, right? When it first came out, or at least, I don't know, but a long time ago. So your little black dress fragrance. And then I got bored because of overusing and, you know, started not liking it. But when I started doing the videos again here on YouTube, I was like, let me get back into Japanese Cherry Blossom and I was able to wear it and all. And then now I'm back to like not caring for it. But my boys actually like this one, um, even my husband. But I just feel like I can't really wear it. So we'll see. This one might be one that I gift to my mom um, eventually. I'm going to see because I don't want to, like I said, I'm really trying super duper hard to actually use my products you know and also i don't mind using it or i don't mind sharing it with my mom if i'm not really going to use it so that's the number one person i share these with so we have fresh modern and iconic this is gingham sorry i'm just like opening boxes now and look at this bottle it is so pretty beautiful i love this bottle it just matches those i wish mine um because of when I got it, it's not like that box right there. So yeah, this one is so beautiful. Like I love the way they made, I don't know why, but I just really like the way these look. I'll go ahead and put it right here. Next, we just have two left. We have Coco Paradise. Oh, I love this. I, to me, very summery. Yeah, like warm, tropical, dreamy. So definitely a tropical type of scent, summer, um, scent so i really love this one though i have a small body cream that i still want to use up uh fairly soon uh that i bought so we have a coco paradise right here there is that one okay and the last one i have here is butterfly this is such a nice floral sweet type of scent that I really enjoy. I cannot show you the whole butterfly effect, how it does it, like if it's flying there, cause it's pretty hard with one hand. So we'll just take it out and inside the box it says beautiful, strong, and one of a kind. And the bottle to this one is different than these other ones that we have here. Uh, there's just a couple of different ones, right? I just have my You're the One right there. Pure Wonder Butterfly is different. And then all of the ginghams are different. All right, friends. So I backed up so you guys can see my full collection. I guess I left the ginghams inside. I should, should I take, no, I don't want to take them out. So anyways, um, you guys saw them in the beginning of the video, but definitely I wanted to just do this quick I don't think it's too quick, but anyways, this video where I show you guys my Bath & Body Works perfume collection and also because I'm definitely trying to change my ways this year and using my products and not just collecting and I'm going to try to do my best with that. So definitely we'll be leaving some of these out. I've decided right now that I'm going to put some of them back into their boxes, but maybe leaving out um, the ones that I want to use. Like I'm finishing, I'm finishing Fairy Tale. Uh, the body cream. So I'm going to leave that one out. Pure Wonder, definitely Dahlia, you know, certain ones that I'm going to go ahead and leave out. But those are the three that I really did think of right now. And then I think Perfect Peony. Poppy is going to stay out because I'm throwing out that box. I just got frustrated of opening it or like grabbing it and it's just everything's falling out. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. And until the next one, my friends, I love you guys so, so much. Please stay blessed. Bye, guys.